Hey, good morning, class. I am Mr. Jones, and I would like to introduce you to Mike Wazowski. All right, and he is going to teach us about decimals. Actually, I am. I can't hold him up the whole video. All right, so anyways, I want to incorporate a little bit of something. That's your bonus extra credit. What's on this video? Send me a little note. You get two scholar dollars for that. Just to see if y'all are paying attention. Anyways, back to what the actual lesson is today. Long division with decimals. Um, I've showed the kids the, the big seven method, uh, but sometimes the kids just really need to know the actual process for dividing, especially when it comes to decimals. Let's say you got 46 and 8 tenths, 46.8 if you will, divided by 1.2 or 1 and 2 tenths. And you want to find out how many times, okay, 1.2 goes into 46.8. And what I like to do with the kids is have them give me a kind of an estimate. First things first, you want to estimate and make sure that your answer is pretty on, on point. So we got 46.8 and we got 1.2. So that's like a 1 and maybe like a 40. 47, sorry, I forget about that. So how many times will one go into 47? About 47 times, right? And that's a little bit bigger than one, and that's a little smaller than 47, so maybe one will go in, it'll be go a little bit less than 47. But the important part for that is to know, let's say you even end, say, oh, it's gonna go in about 40 times. That way when you have your decimals up here and you have 40 or 400 or 4 as your possible answer and you lose track of your decimal, that way you can kind of see, oh, it should be closer to 40, not 400. And I want the kids to think about the, like, the reality of the part of it where, does this make sense? Is this a reasonable answer? A little bit more than 1 going into a little bit less than 47. It should be close to 40, 45 maybe. That way the kids can see, oh wait, my answer is 400 or 397. I know something's wrong. Maybe my decimal is misplaced. So anyways, once we get our estimate and the kids find out a good estimate, then we will take our little gray color there and make our divisor a whole number. Your dividend doesn't necessarily have to be a whole number, okay? It sometimes can be, but uh, it doesn't necessarily have to be, all right? So let's find out, like first, the most important part, the divisor, what we're dividing, by has to be a whole number. So what we're doing here is moving this over one and whatever we do here, we have to do here. So move your dividend over one. Now the important part I tell the kids is I want them to understand what we're really doing here, okay? You got 46 and 8 tenths divided by one and two tenths. Now it's like a fraction, you can't have a decimal in a fraction. So in order to eliminate that, we multiply it to make sure it's a whole number times 10 over 10. So 46.8 times 10 is 468. 1.2 times 10 is 12. Okay, so that's basically what we're doing. We're making that new problem for us. Okay, let me go ahead and get rid of this here. And so now that when we move that decimal, um, yes, we're moving a decimal and the kids can know that that's the strategy, but I want them to know what they're actually doing. They're multiplying the divisor by 10 and the, div the dividend by 10. So their value won't change We'll just change the size of the parts we're dividing. The ratio is still the same. All right, so now we're really doing 12 into 468. And so now find out, does 12 go into four? No. So at that point, let me move this out of the way a little bit. All right. 12 doesn't go into four. Um, I've had some different ways that kids do this. Some people put a zero, some put an X. Some just say, well, if you line up your numbers, that's fine. We'll put an X right here, okay? So 12 does not go into four, but does 12 go into 46? Yes, it does. See, so 12, 24, 36, 48 is too much, right? You can make your little multiple tower for the divisor. Okay, 60, 72. That way you have a reference sheet. Does 12 go into 46? One, two, three times. Three times 12 is 36. Subtract that, that is a 10. 12 won't go into 10. Bring down your eight. Does 12 go into 108? How many times? Well, I should have made my full multiple tower here, but let's take a look. 72, 84, 96, 108, 120. 108 sounds familiar. 108, 108, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine times 12 is 108. 9 times 12 is 108. 
subtract, you get a zero. Once you're a zero, you can be done. If it wasn't a zero here, we put a decimal here and a decimal here and keep on dividing. Um, but we got an even number, so we're good to go. So now our quotient, our answer is 39. That means 46.8 divided by 1.2 is 39. And then once you get 39 as your answer, you go back and you say, is that a reasonable answer? You go back to your original estimate, which I erased, but the kids will just have it written down. And is 39 reasonably close to 40, or well, what we thought our answer should be? Yes, it is. Does one go into 46 about 40 times, a little bit less, 39 times? Yeah, that's about right. So that's how we do long division. Anyway, thank you guys for listening, and we'll have another video shortly.